Hi, I'm Systems Engineer Jason Green, and this video is designed to provide you with all of the information you need to ensure that your AV definition updates can be applied to workstations protected by deep freeze. Ensuring that your workstations continue to be protected with the latest definition updates can be facilitated in a number of ways. The first way is to configure your initial deep freeze workstation install package with one of two workstation tasks that will be embedded in your deep freeze configuration and automate the process of applying AV definition updates. By opening the Deep Freeze Configuration Administrator and selecting the third tab, Workstation Tasks, we can see that we can create six different types of tasks. The two workstation tasks that can help facilitate the automation of AV definition updates are the Thawed Period Task and the Batch File Task. A Thawed Period Task allows us to specify a time during a workstation will reside in a thawed or unprotected state. A thawed period task can be aligned with an enterprise antivirus solution to have definition updates pushed to workstations during this task. In this example, I've created a thawed task called AV Update and configured it to be in an unprotected state from midnight each night until 1.30 a.m. for a total of 90 minutes, which is more than sufficient to accommodate the installation of a new definition file. Additional options allow us to have workstations automatically shut down following the task. The second type of task that can be leveraged to assist in the automated installation of AV definition updates is the batch file task. While a thawed period task allows for updates to be pushed to a workstation, a batch file task allows updates to be pulled from a workstation, uh, pulled from a, a definition update server. Simply configure your batch file task as you did with your thawed period task. And once you've defined a, a time frame for the task to run, in this case from 2 a.m. to 3.30 a.m., click on OK and it will be added to the task list. Click on the Batch File tab and uh, from the uh, Pharonix Knowledge Base, which is located at support.pharonix.com, uh, we provide a number of batch file scripts um, that can be placed in the uh, batch file window. In this case, we've leveraged the uh, batch file script that will allow us to apply definition updates uh, for the Symantec AV solution. On the left side, uh, we can select the user credentials or user account that we want the batch file uh, to run under. Now, in a case where workstations have already been deployed and we simply wish to modify the configuration uh, that already exists on the workstation, uh, we can modify workstation tasks directly out of the Deep Freeze Enterprise Console. And we do this by um, selecting the workstation or workstations that we want to update the configuration on, right-clicking on that workstation or workstations, and clicking the Update Workstation Tasks button. Click on New down towards the bottom, and you can see we're presented with the same configuration uh, options that exist when we create our initial workstation install file. Add your thawed period task, create your time frames, click on OK, it drops into the list, and when we close the configuration update screen, we're asked to uh, select the destination workstations, and then we'll click the send button. And we can see that we're provided with feedback immediately that indicates that the deep freeze configuration was successfully updated on the selected workstation or workstations. Click on OK and close, and we're done updating the uh, configuration. And the last option that we have um, is to actually use Pharonix's own antivirus solution, Pharonix Antivirus. Uh, the unique uh, thing about Pharonix Antivirus is it's been designed uh, exclusively to work with uh, Pharonix Deep Freeze. And what I mean by that is a workstation, a Deep Freeze workstation can be in a thawed or frozen state. Uh, if Pharonix Antivirus is used, definition updates will be retained um, regardless of whether a workstation is frozen and been restarted.